Yeah, um, the time I had to meet uh, Lenny McLean, uh, I was with maybe Jimmy Tibbet, maybe my, my brother, and I'm not quite sure, you know. Um, but uh, we had to meet him in, in some one of them houses, yeah. It was either, it was either Frankie Warren's house or Lenny McLean's house. Uh, we went there, um, sat down for a little bit of time. Uh, if I can remember rightly, Lenny was growling at me even before uh, anything was said about what we were going to fight, what we were going to do, this, that and the other way. Uh, Lenny had the growls about him. It was about, it was about 17 stone then. Uh, Lenny was just trying to fill out. I think he must have been the start of his steroids, but he was filling out, yeah? And he was growling. He was growling at me all the time. Just sat there and uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Tibbet, thought it was a good idea uh, that we go somewhere and uh, sit down and have a chat while we're in, in, in the house, yeah? because it looked like it was going to kick off. It's kick off somewhere where it ain't in, in someone's house, you know what I mean? So we went to a pub uh, over Islington um, and had a talk uh, uh, about me, Frankie Warren and Lenny McLean. So we had a, little, we had a, uh, a good talk, um, but Lenny kept growling at me uh, more and more. Uh, I had a feeling that it was going to kick off uh, in the pub. Um, I had that feeling, do you know, like, you, you go in there, uh, straight away, people are on Lenny, all right, Lenny, how you going, this, that, and the other, and, and I think we'd done a wrong going to the pub, because everybody in the pub knew Lenny, so no one really knew me, you know what I mean? So it's a bit, before, hold up, what's going on there? And so Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Tibbet being Jimmy Tibbet, uh, he stood, stood the ground between me, Lenny, and Frankie Warren, and uh, sort of like I said, look, you know, this has got to happen. Uh, Ray's had a few fights. Um, Ray wants to fight Lenny, and it's as easy as that, you know. And uh, for Ray to fight Lenny, and Ray to beat Lenny, we boost Ray right up, yeah? So Lenny started growling even more then. Yeah, fucking beat me, and he's screaming and shouting. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you're thinking, here we go. Jim, shut up, mate, you know what I mean? But Jimmy uh, put it on him. He said that, uh, listen... We're here to talk. We're here to get this fight sorted out. And uh, and that was it, you know. And then uh, we walked away. Uh, Frankie Warren said he'd get it sorted out. Um, and, and and that's it, yeah. But it never got sorted. It, nothing it never got sorted. There was uh, a phone calls. Uh, Jimmy, used to, Jimmy Tibbet used to phone Frankie Warren. Frankie Warren was to arrange the fights uh, for me and Lenny to, to, to have it on. It never happened. It never ever happens, you know. And when I see, when I see uh, Lenny McLean uh, at the fight um, at, um, I think it was the Ray, Rainbow Mayfair, I'm not quite sure. And, uh, you know, Lenny was had a go at Cliff Fields and there was a little bit of a row there between Cliff Fields and Lenny looked like he was going to kick off there as well, yeah. And Jimmy Tibbet also. And uh, he was there, um, Vic Andretti. And sometimes... When all them people are together, it kicks, it's going to kick off even worse, you know what I mean? But I'm sitting down with Cliff Fields. Uh, Cliff Fields got up to Lenny. He looked like it was going to kick off big time. But it never did, really. Thank you, Warren. Um, at Humble Pie. I walk out, walks out there with his towel between his legs. Uh, Vic Andretti, you can't do it to Vic Andretti. He's not a fool. He stood his ground with Jimmy Tibbet. But um, it never, it, nothing never happens, yeah? But um, as, uh, as I say... Uh, twice I was supposed to fight Lenny. Uh, twice Le Lenny never showed up. Uh, that's on on posters and all that. So uh, you know you can see I'm not lying about it. People, I'm lying, but you can see I'm not lying about it. Anyway, um, just got the way things went between me and Lenny. Um, I like Lenny as a fighter, um, you know, but he did swerve me. Uh, well, he did. He might not have been Lenny. He might be Vic Andre. He might be Frankie Warren, but. You know, I was swerved. Let's put it like that, yeah. Nice one.